talking about people opening things up and the world returning to some semblance of normality um I kind of envy the US approach. Again, it's a bit haphazard. It's probably going to cost more lives than it's going to save, unfortunately. But I guess, you know, Americans just have a completely different way of looking at the world than we do in the U in Europe for the most part. They very much value their freedom of movement and expression and being able to kind of earn a living off their own dime, off the sweat of their own brow, off the, you know, hard work of their own hands, all this sort of malarkey. So the whole idea of staying indoors, wearing a mask for a long time, abiding by all these scientific rules especially when you include all the kind of you know crazy conspiracy stuff going on the politicization of the issue it was never going to be smooth sailing it was never going to be smooth sailing there was never going to be a sort of a collective acceptance of what to do and how to approach things right but i kind of like that chaos i think that chaos has basically helped certain states of course because they're governed individually of their own or they got yeah they're not they're governed separately individually whatever that term is so they don't need to kind of abide by any there's no sort of like you know um country-wide mandate that they kind of have to ascribe by so they can all take different approaches that had to do with covid that some places have opened up such as i think is it miami florida yeah some places have opened some places have closed some places have done like a u-turn and stuff they're doing in new york and now texas the home of all the new the home of all the comedians that have relocated from LA has now decided to open things up and just say, you know what, enough is enough. We're going to just go back to normal uh, because uh, this thing is, um, this lockdown is killing or is hindering us more than it's helping us. So this is courtesy of ABC 13 Eyewitness News. that said all Texas COVID-19 mandates lifted effective next Wednesday, government ever said. So imagine we have this really delayed, slow, methodical approach that's led by science, five weeks in between each tier or each kind of reopening of the roadmap blah -de blah 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 a very cautious approach which you can understand from Boris Johnson's point of view right he's really cocked it up the you know Tory government has not done a great job with Covid in the UK and they, they read the last thing they want is more bodies and more blood on their hands so they're trying their best to mitigate from that but the US are just like nah let's go man yeehaw baby let's open shit up so it continues here it says Austin, um, Texas is lifting its marks mandate. Governor Greg Abbott said on Tuesday, making it the largest state to end an order intended um, to prevent the spread of coronavirus, um, which killed more than 42,000 Texans. That's, that's not a minor. Um, the Republican governor has faced sharp criticism from his party over the mandate, which imposed eight months ago and other COVID-19 restrictions. It was only ever lightly enforced, even during the worst outbreaks of the pandemic. Yes, of what I've been reading online, people have been basically arguing that Texas has never never really abided or listened to any other kind of mandates obviously um when the governor puts in some rules um it means certain sectors of the industry can't open so maybe you can't go to certain bars or clubs or whatever but in terms of daily right in gyms and whatever is open at the moment people are just doing what they're doing no one's wearing masks no one's social distancing it is what it is um i think i remember seeing a video of uh, somebody recording um people in walmart or target or something in texas and people just walking around no mask you know just doing what they wanted to do so they kind of decided i guess as citizens to just be like you know what fuck this we're just gonna do what we want because um you know they just don't believe it's that big of an issue i guess um the continuity of texas will also do away with limits on the number of diners um that businesses can reserve serve indoors said abbott who made the announcement at a restaurant in lubbock he said the new rules would uh, come into effect on march 10th he said removing statewide mandates does not end personal responsibility speaking from the crowded dining room where many of the surrounded him were not wearing masks i love it man honestly i love the lawlessness i've loved the flipping independence the just going out there and just doing whatever you need to be done it's just mad isn't it and again the thing is interesting too none of the i would imagine a large percentage of citizens from texas aren't going to blame him for doing this either right they're going to be really they're going to be if anything championing this because a lot of people want to reopen their businesses go back to normal life whatever it may be so they're definitely going to welcome this it continues it's just that now state mandates are no longer needed he said the decision comes as governors across the u.s are being easing restrictions despite the warnings from health experts where the pandemic is far from over like most of the country texas has seen the number of cases and deaths plunge hospitalizations are the lowest level since october and the seven-day rolling average of positive tests has dropped to about 7,600 cases down from more than 10,000 mid-February. That's definitely something to celebrate. And again, this is the issue I have with mainstream media and some of the people that are like, you know, advocating for people to stay indoors forever. If the numbers keep going down and we have vaccines, and I guess in the US, I think they just um if i'm not mistaken they're in their approval stages or testing whatever it may be for the johnson and johnson one which is going to be the game changer because that's that i think is a vaccine that doesn't require two uh doses so 
we're in a position now mostly apart from places you know in the eu unfortunately they're having a hell of a time but in most places you know in the uk north america we're in a position where we can effectively open up and get people you know back to living their normal lives and i think it's good i think it's a great thing it's a risk of course there is no safe um zero death way of reopening back the economy no way shape or form but there needs to be especially now that we're kind of what 11 months or so into lockdown into living with this virus there needs to be some form of um normality restored whether that means you know unfortunately some risk needs to be taken it just is what it is unfortunately um continues only californians and new york have been reported more covid19 deaths than texas the fact that um, things are headed in the right direction doesn't mean that we have um succeeded in eradicating the risk said dr lauren myers Sorry, Lauren Ansel Meyer is a professional integr integrative biology and director of the University of Texas. She said that recent steadily winter in Texas had left millions without power, forced families to shelter closely and could amplify the transmission of the virus weeks ahead, although it remains too early. Masks, she said, are one of the most effective strategies. But that's the thing, though, man. If you've just survived that, right? If you nearly survived, um, you know, you and your family freezing in your own home, not having electricity or running water, you want to get back to work the last thing you want to be doing is staying indoors you know with a mask on as you rock your baby to sleep that's not a future that you want so again this thing is really exposed like you know when it comes to government and working with scientists and with these sort of like you know public health issues there just needs to be a balance that, that you can't just completely listen to the scientists and you can't just completely go off the reservation and just listen to the politicians who want to get things reopened so they can line their pockets or ensure that they get re-elected there has to be some balance but the idea that you should be listening completely to scientists in terms of public health issues is just ludicrous because you know the entire economy will collapse right because they would basically mandate you look you had some of the people coming out saying you should wear five masks or three or whatever it may be um zero covid strategy which you know especially in this or uh, well especially in western europe and parts of north america just isn't something that's going to be possible it's just you know we are where we are i think most of it has also been caused via our own negligence especially in the uk we fucked things up in the beginning but now we are where we are there's no way we can go back and try and rectify the wrongs and try and do things properly people are fatigued this is what it is let people open up and get back to some semblance of normal life.